Hey guys, Devil Slayer here. Don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please, please leave a like. It really helps the channel out. And if not, just please leave a like. As always, Devil Slayer Productions makes the best videos. Good evening, and welcome. When we last left our friends, they had managed to leave Africa, gotten themselves into and back out of a rather sticky situation in Monaco, and met a ragtag group of circus performers. Upon hearing that this was a traveling show, our friends purchased the circus in hopes of it taking them home to New York. Unfortunately, that plan didn't uh, pan out hello, so well. Hello, monkey person. You are boring to play as. They're not even going to play this game if you don't stop with all of the talking! Do you mind? Mind? No, not at all. It is my pleasure. What the hairy, boring guy over there was trying to say is the old circus, for which they had paid way too much money, was... <laughs> and the freaks were never going to make it home to New York, which happens to them a lot when you think about it. Luckily, King Julian... That's me. Was there to help those freaks. I teamed up with a very beautiful and hairy bear. And our motorcycle act was just a hit that was needed to make the circus a success all over Europe. The end. Actually, it's not the end. We've just started. You don't. But I thought it was over because I already told the story. No. Oh. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> Did you see that, Morris? I made the paper fly. Well, it seems the idiot has left the building. Now it's time to see your circus. Go on, give it a try. Okay. I'm gonna need you four to do some things for me between circuses. I keep track of them here on the mission board. The map will show you the layout of the city. It will show you where the thing I need is and the starting point. To get these things, you're gonna have to help each other out. We'll try a dry run. Gloria, Marty, you're up first. Head over to the spot marked on the map. Good job, sweet cheeks. Alex, Melman, front and center. I'm sending you guys in. Head to the spot marked on the map. Oh, you guys, by the way, things will be easier if you don't scare people or get noticed by animal control officers. Press the disguise button to disguise yourselves. You are disguised. You can't do much but walk, but you'll attract a lot less attention. If animal control starts chasing you, per se, the best way to go is up. They can't jump and climb like you guys. Stay out of their way long enough and they'll settle down. Head to the spot marked on the map. Am I a master of disguise or what? With their training complete, everyone was eager to return to Rome and get ready for the debut of the new circus. Of course, there was the small matter of getting people to see the show. And if there's anything I know how to do, it's throw a party! Or a circus in this case. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shake what your mama gave you! <laughs> yes! <coughs> yes, it was actually the penguins who helped attract the crowd. You sat around drinking espresso. <gasps> I could not have performed my important duties if I was all shrivelly and dried up! If I turned to dust! The people would be mourning their dusty king instead of enjoying the circus! Am I right? I'm right, right? You are, sir. <sighs> yes, I know, Maurice. I wasn't asking you. And so, the newly trained Circus Zaragoza was cast to perform in Rome. But little did they know that Animal Control Officer Dubois had followed them to Italy. I'm not gonna dance around it, people. That last circus stunk like yesterday's herring. We're gonna have to do something big to get the people back. 
boys and I have a plan for a publicity stunt that'll knock their Roman socks off. We're gonna need supplies, though. That's where you guys come in. Alex, Gloria, front and center. First thing we're gonna need is fireworks, and lots of them. I found a stash, and then marked the general location. Of course, you're gonna have to work together to get there. Also, I'm gonna need you to bring back as much scrap wood as you can find. There's a lot of stuff that needs building. So, get out there and make me proud, people. Rome! Pretty cool, huh? I will take this over the jungle any day. Alex, Marty says your act with Gia is really coming along. What about me and Gia? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. You don't see Dubois anywhere, do you, Alex? Not yet, but she can't be far away. She never is. Watch it, people. It's the crazy animal control lady. Capitaine Dubois, run! It's Mango Madness! I love the smell of escape in the morning. Way to go. Great work on that last mission, people. There's a spirit in you that's almost penguin-like. But we're not done. Not by a long shot. Melman and Gloria, listen up. We're gonna need some tools. I located a toolbox full of them. Bring it back ASAP. That is all. Hello? Wait! No, it's not. Hi, King Julian, that is me, has heard that this Italy place has marvelous shoes. I usually avoid them myself because my feet are so attractive. But if these Rome shoes are so good, I think that I should have some. Ten pairs should do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? My feet are cold. Go! Done. If those don't bring in the crowds, I don't know what will. Ah! Ready to land in. Okay, we need to find the three valves to turn on the fountain. <clears throat> Gloria, um, would you think I was more macho if I got shot out of a cannon like Marty? Are you insane? Your legs would never fit in that cannon. You know, Gloria, I'm glad I learned to dance. I think it brings us closer together. Oh, no. <laughs> Outstanding work. Kowalski, sort through those tools while you... There you are. Where have you been? Don't you know there is something to do for the circus publicity thingy? Okay, freaks. Are you ready for a poster hanging party? I know you are. Just follow me through the streets and throw my many mangoes! Slap a poster on the wall before the mango mush dries or it won't stick. See how that works? Kind of like a glue. Ready? Follow me! The posters, they were my idea, should attract all of the billions of Roman people to King Julian's amazing circus. <laughs> if I may wax, Philosophic for a moment without being rudely interrupted. Great not so great. There's work to be done. Gloria, Marty, I'm gonna need a garden hose. Don't ask why. It's classified. Just get out there and find it. Personal. Excellent. 
That hose is just what the doctor ordered. Okay, you two, listen up. The boys have scattered supplies all over the city. Get out there and find as many as you can. You don't have a lot of time, but if you find a clock, grab it. It'll give you a little more time. Don't just stand there. Go, go, go! Marty, this is important. Boys have located the biggest slab of Parmesan cheese in all the world right here in Rome. Go get it and bring it back here. And, hello, cheese fetchers. Bring me ten more pairs of shoes. And make sure they fit this time. I've got bunions on my bunions. Welcome to Streets of Rome. Somebody hitch me to a chair. I don't think they have those here anymore, Marty. I wouldn't be surprised if that crazy lady was here, too. Yeah, she definitely seems to get around. Okay, people. The boys have once again inconveniently scattered the supplies we need all over the city. You know the drill. Get out there and grab as many as you can before time is up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some cheese to eat. Better believe it! I am Magicus! Okay, time to wow the people of Rome. The boys have set up a stunt area for you here in town. What I need you to do is go out and decorate it. Got it? Good! Now let's show off those decorating skills. Thank you. 
looking muy buena. Now all we need is customers. Get out there and work the crowds. Go to the mark spot and do your thing. Alman, does Marty still hold a grudge about the time I um bit him on the butt? Oh, I'm sure he does. People tend to get over those sorts of things pretty fast. People, that stuff doesn't bring the Romans to the circus. I don't know what will. We're ready to start the show when you are. Okay, the goal here is to sell tickets as fast as you can. We got two different types, but I may add some more later. The customers will come up to the window and give their order. We'll show how many of each type they need. Simple, right? You just have to press the right buttons the right number of times to fill the order. If you mess up, You'll have to start the order all over. Mango tickets will be assigned to this button. Banana tickets are assigned to this one. Gotta sell them snacks. Each kind of snack will be assigned to a button. We'll start off with two. Mangoes are on this button. Bananas are on this one. Now the stands are divided into four sections. To sell snacks, you have to be standing in front of the right section and press the right button to throw the right snack 
to the right customer, right? Deliver enough right snacks in a row, and some interesting things will happen. Our human ish cannonballs, Marty and Stefano. Okay, now I think you're crazy for doing this, but that's just me. You're gonna be shot out of the cannon and bounce off of the trampoline targets. You wanna hit as many of the floating targets as you can. Now get all the targets between trampolines, land on the bullseye, and show your mad skills for more applause. Use the jump button to perform flips and rolls. Julian risking his neck, but no, it's the amazing Vitaly and his rings of doom. Okay, Vitaly, you're gonna jump through these rings. Press the jump button to crouch and get ready. Release it at just the right time to fly through that ring. Time it just right for maximum applause. Well, time jumps and symbols can help you show off your mad skills. Ringtail, you're gonna up the excitement by providing a little accompaniment. As soon as Vitaly gets into his crouch, start the drum roll by rapidly pressing the buttons. Keep it going until he jumps. Right as he flies through the ring, press the action button to hit the symbol. Wire hot throbs, Gloria and Melman. Okay, time to see you can get across the wire the fastest. Press forward to move ahead. 
You can also press the jump button to jump while you're on the wire. It may come in handy, but be careful. You don't want to lose your balance. I'll be honest, losing your balance or falling will slow you down. Introducing a couple of real swinging cats, Alex and Gia. Okay, now press the button to release the trapeze and fly through the air. When you release can make a big difference in how high and far you go. You can also bounce off the net and control yourself in the air. Try and get all the targets. You can also catch and swing off your partner. Grab all the targets without hitting the net to show off your mad skill. After their success in Rome, our circus moved on to Pisa, where our heroes... Pizza. Did you say pizza? Oh, I love cheesy, oozy, gooey pizza. It is my favorite. <laughs> but where was that famous leaning pizza tower? All doughy and oozing with cheese and sauce. Nowhere, that's where. He's so unevolved. Interesting, though. Pizza! I need pizza! Indeed. Moving on, then. Hey! What? Pizza! Our friends were now in Pisa, where they had a circus to put on. All right, people. The cheese I had in Rome ain't cutting it. I need a crate of tuna fish, and I need it now. Alex, Gloria, go out there and get it. And speaking of hungry, I must eat this tower of leaning pizza. Uh, that's pizza, not pizza. You can't eat it. Uh, you mean I skipped lunch for this tower of stone? Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Wait. Wait. I will make my own pizza tower. You will bring me 15 pizzas in addition to the penguin silly fish crate. I need to taste the cheese of goodness. What he said. And don't forget to bring back any scrap wood you could find. I can always use more wood. Another city actually booked us. I was a little worried here for a while. Not me. We'll rock pizza like we rock Rome. So, Alex, you got something happening with Gia or what? Um... I don't know what you're... Uh, I mean, we're, uh, just friends. Uh, strictly business. Alex, you ought to get Gia to show you around Pisa. After all, this is her country. Actually, I don't think she likes me very much. That tuna hit the spot. Now back to business. All right, you two. Supply time. Get out there and gather up what the boys have left for you.
What we need to get the ball rolling on this next publicity stunt is a TV antenna. A big one. I pick Alex and Melman because why not? Oh, and lion person. Hippo, hippo, popo to person. Maurice and Mort are hard at work on my pizza tower. It's already leaning nicely, but I will need to spice up the decor. You must bring to me disco balls. Five of them will be lovely. Now show. I must return to the pizza tower before Mort eats the sixth floor. You know, I'm never quite sure what those penguins have up their sleeves. I didn't know penguins had sleeves. I say we just do what Skipper says. I mean, what choice do we have? Ooh. Remember, Melvin, this is Pisa Incognito. Don't attract attention. Just me. You're kidding, right? Alex, do you have any performance tips for me, you know, to, to wow the crowd? Just go with the flow, Melvin. Let the cheers roll over you and roar. They always love a good roar. Good news and bad news, people. The good news is the publicity stunt is coming along nicely. And a TV reception has never been better. We have television. Also, the disco balls are extra sparkly and will look wonderful on my tower. Bad news is Alex and Marty got nabbed by animal control. They're being held at the marked location. Melman, Gloria, I'm counting on you to bust them out. We I should find they a nice these romantic animals. restaurant. The food and pizza is supposed to be great. Good idea. Hey, how about Mexican? I could sure go for some good Mexican. Melman, if animal control shows up, stay behind me. You do not have to tell me twice. To my beast mailman. Damn. Uh -uh. They are not animal control. Uh. Not again. Run for it, people. Du Bois back. She's gone! Good job! Nice jailbreak, people. I'll make soldiers out of you yet. Now this next one's gonna get a little prickly. I need the biggest cactus in town. Not like there's much of a selection. Pisa ain't actually the cactus capital of the world. But good luck. Alex, Marty, why don't you use those new jailbird skills of yours and swipe it for me? Mort! Maurice! What have you done? This is a disaster. Look, freaks. I'm going to need 15 more pizzas for a new tower. My construction crew seems to have eaten the original one. That's what I get for giving lunch breaks to the help. Pizza isn't exactly what I was expecting. Me neither. I'm with Julie. I was looking forward to some pizza. Cactus is secure. Excellent work, people. And my tower is complete. It will be the envy of everyone who sees it before I have eaten it. Okay, you freaks have your posters? Good, because I am ready with the throwing of the mangoes. <laughs> Let's go! King Julian slows 
down for no free. Am I too fast for you? <laughs> I know. So many posters, so little time. I only have done better myself. If you're through running around doing a lemur's job, how about we get back to business? Right. Now I'm gonna need an ironing board. Marty, take Gloria with you. Get this! Get that! Those penguins are driving me right off the deep end! I hear you, Gloria. But what can we do? Way to hustle! Okay, people. Those things the boys took time to scatter everywhere won't gather themselves. Get out there and bring me some supplies. As far as Italian cities go, I hear this is the pizza to resist all. Oh, that's funny! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely work with that. People, it's time to make that stun area pop. Get out there and decorate.
never stopped us from blindly following his lead before. Decorating! Now get out there and make what the people attracting. We want a capacity crowd this time around. Publicity stunt time. Listen up. Go out there to the locations I've marked and impress the locals. We need a big audience if this thing's gonna work. Let's make it a show to remember, people. a step to remember, people. Nice work. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone in Pisa shows up. We're ready to get this circus started whenever you are. Folks, we now have coconut tickets. They go on this button.
a snack from our talented vendors before we start the show, hmm? I've decided we'll start selling nachos. Por favor. They're on this button. Draw your attention to the cannon and our daredevil duo, Marty and Stefano. Let's light this candle. Trying that anytime soon. Vitali, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not unhappy. Oh, look at you, you great cat. He's tall, she's big. Neither of them should be on a tightrope. But there they are anyway. 
Gloria and Melman. Now they glide through the air with the greatest of ease. Alex and Gia on the flying trapeze. of your cheesy goodness. <laughs> and so, Circus Zaragoza was also well received in Pisa. But would they also be a hit in the city of Paris? They would soon find out. Ah, I love the smell of Paris in the morning. Smells like victory and croissants. Gloria, Melman, listen up. First thing the boys and I need to get started on the new publicity stunt is hammers. A whole bag of them. I've marked the location for you. And as always, be on the lookout for scrap wood. We're gonna need a lot of it for what we've got planned. Hello, King Julian here. I have more beautiful posters, which I have designed, of course. Hang them wherever you can while you search for the penguin's dumb hammer bag. Oh, Paris! It's the fashion capital of the world, Melman. I know. Too bad none of us wear clothes. Melman, sweetie, I need you over here. <clears throat> I sure hope Marty can help convince Alex to stay with the circus. Me too. It just wouldn't be the same without him. If you're done hanging your little artwork, you know, I could use your help. Okay, this is just silly now. Now, you might think this is dumb. Dumber than a bag of hammers, even. But I don't need you questioning my master plan. Now, what I do need is a box of rocks. And just so you don't have to search all over France for it, I've marked the location. Alex, Marty, get on it. Wait, France? Paris is in France? just must sample the famous fries of France. I hear they are delicious. You must bring me as many of these French fried treats as you can find. Hey, Paris! I'll tell you what, we are in the big time now. You said it, buddy. I hope our circus isn't too different to be a hit in Paris. Don't worry, buddy. All animal circus is weird, but that ain't nothing compared to French circuses. It's poster time again. <laughs> Are you excited? Because I am very, very excited. Come on! Am I too fat? <laughs> I know. Achoo! Ooh, is that the 
doesn't sound good. I could do this all day, baby. Speaking of which, Alex and Melman, I'm going to need an aquarium, an empty one. Fish are a distraction the boys don't need right now. Now get out there and find it. What do you think of Paris so far, Melman? It's kind of like Italy, only Frencher. Maybe we could visit the zoo while we're here. I hear it's nice. The only zoo we're going to is in New York, Melman. Okay, time's a-wasting, people. Get out there and get me more supplies ASAP. We've been away from the zoo a long time, Alex. I don't think I'm missing much anymore. Don't be silly, Marty. Sure you do. We all do. Nice job, people. Give your neighbor a pat on the back. Whoa, these fries of France are really marvelous. You really should try some. Some of your own, of course, not mine. I already had to stop Mort from stealing mine. Speaking of which, I need more. As many as you can find. Hold on a second, your pushiness. I've got a mission for him, too. Goya, Marty, I need a statue. A statue of a cowboy. It took the boys a while to find one that wasn't wearing one of those Napoleon hats. I marked the location for you, as always. Hit them up, move them out. Chop, chop. I can't believe Julian's got us playing fetch. Julian's running us ragged with all these silly missions. Well, it's not like we have to do them, you know. Of course, he will just keep bothering us. Marty, do you know what they use for money here in Paris? Sure. French bread. Great job. Everything's going as planned. Well, except that the lion and the tall guy got themselves caught by animal control. But that's just a minor setback. Gloria, Marty, you go and spring your buddies. The boys and I will keep working on Operation Lay Publicity. 
I bet you and me could take those guys, huh, Glory? I am not about to find out. If the animal control comes for us, I'm stampeding the opposite way. I hope Dubois doesn't show up. She is one scary human. You said it. She puts the animal in animal control. And takes the control out! Yo, Gloria, get over here, girl! <coughs> Those animal control guys again! Oh, the animal control lady returns! Again! Better run, people! Looks like she's serious! You starve and mongrel. It's Mango Madness! <laughs> Looks like she's gone! Good job! Well, I'm pleased to see everybody safe and sound. Cause we're gonna need all hands on deck after we pull off the publicity stunt. Time to pound the pavement again, people! Those supplies out there are waiting for you to find them. Now get going! Chop chop! Half the time, I think those crazy penguins don't have a clue what they're doing. Only half the time? Have you not been paying attention? with Melman. None of your beeswax. That'll do. Nice work. All right. The boys have the stun area ready. Now get out there and decorate that sucker. Now time for some fancy footwork and such. Go out there and get those people begging for a circus. Alex, Gloria, it's up to you to bring in the crowds. Head out to the marked locations and do whatever it takes to get those people to follow you. Here we are in the middle of Paris, and what are we doing? Working. You know what they say, Gloria. The show must go on!
easy, you know? Uh-huh! That's right! Oh, yeah! should do nicely. Okay, people. This one's all about Marty and Melman. We're doing this uh, publicity stunt at that tower thing that everyone's always taking pictures of. You're gonna start part way up the tower. Put on a good show. Good luck. We're all counting on you. City shy. You're in the circus now, Melvin. You gotta start loving that spotlight. I know you're busy, but I need help.
Yeah, man! Yeah! You people never cease to amaze me. That stunt's got every man, woman, and mime in Paris talking. We can start the circus anytime you're ready. Daring duo of cannon projectiles, Marty and Stefano. Time to get this party stuck. Under that singed fur beats the heart of a lion. Either way, what he does is amazing. Introducing Vitaly and a lemur. Oh, look at you, you crazy bat. I'm stunned by your talent.
I could draw your attention to the dangerously overstrained tightrope. I'd like to introduce Gloria and Melman. likes her, but she only wants him for his questionable trapeze skills. Introducing Alex and Gia. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 uh. My friends, your performers. One more time. Gia and Alex. Melman and Gloria. Marty and Stefano. Vitali and King Julian. Again, people of Paris. Bonne nuit. So the Paris Circus was very successful, and next our oh, friends... Oh, ho, oh, oh, look at me! I am a mime. I can't talk. Way, way, a croissant, a blah, blah, blah. Finally. <laughs> so the Franks left Paris and went to the next city, which was London. Uh, Julia, I think that's the wrong city. What? I can't hear you. I'm a mime. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh. <coughs> Where was I? Oh, right. We went to London. King Julian, that's the wrong one, too. So? We... That one's wrong, too. Oh, now come on! This is so unprofessional! But so much fun! <laughs> Maurice! Maurice, you have to try this! <laughs> The Paris Circus went off without a hitch. The next stop was London. All right, people, we're in London now. And one thing everybody needs in London is an umbrella. Marty, Melman, go get me a brown and white one. That's very important. Don't ask me why. It's top secret. London? Does that mean no more fries of France? This is terrible! Maurice! What do they have in London that they can make the freaks get for me? Maurice! You better get a move on before he gets back. Excuse me, but this is far more important. Maurice has informed me that there is a new drink in London called... Tea. If you bring me ten pots of London tea, I might invite you to the fancy tea party I've decided to throw for myself. <laughs> so go, bring it to me. London, Melman, the Thames, that Ben guy's giant clock, that palace where you can get ham for a buck. Smog, traffic, a weird obsession with soccer. At least Skipper's stuff kind of makes sense. But what's up with all this stuff Julian wants? It's me, Melman. I just figured the sooner we get it, the sooner he'll leave us alone. So how's the whole tightrope thing working out for you, Melman? Well, I still have some anxiety issues about the height and the dancing. But other than that, fine. Marty, you think we'll still fit in back in New York? You can take the animal out of New York, but you can't take the New York out of the animal. That's one fine umbrella you boys brought back. I feel drier already. Hello, freaks! King Julian has decided to throw a tea party and invite everyone important in all of London. The tea party host, that is me, has marked the doors of the 
crustiest of the upper crust. All you freaks have to do is deliver the invitations to the market doors. Got it? Good. London must have known I was coming. There's a zebra crossing on every corner. Nice. only have done better myself. Well, now that His Highness is done with you, we can get back to work. Next stop, we need a bag of charcoal. We located one that's not too soggy. Alex, Marty, bring it back. Dead or alive. London. Last stop before home. That's right. This circus idea really worked out. Beats monkey planes any day. This is gonna be the best performance yet. But not until I get those supplies I always so desperately need. Now go out there and bring them in. We should ride that big Ferris wheel. I hear you can see all of London from the top. Um, no thanks. I can see fine from down here. Splash of color. I need a bucket of green paint. Now go and get it. And rather predictably, I need something too. The entire royal family has accepted my invitation for tea. Ten more pots. And don't mix it up with the paint. Even though I thought it worked just fine last time, Maurice insists that that's not how green tea is made. I feel bad that I didn't learn the native language before we came to London. Just stick with me, Melman. I speak British. Pip hop, cheerio, uh, tea and crumpets. Now we need some pizzazz, sparkle. Nothing says sparkle like sparklers. A case of them should do nicely. So Gloria, you ready to show London what you've got? You bet I am. Britain won't know what hit them. Eventually, Dubois is gonna give up. But apparently not at the moment. Go!
It's Mango Madness! That's what I call some top-notch flea. Nice work. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> I've decided by my providential nature to invite some of the lower crust parts of the upper crust to my tea party as well. It's my prerogative. Here's some more invitations for you to deliver. Go. Julian here again. My tea party is overbooked, so I had to make it a royalty-only event, you know. Since you freaks are common types, you are no longer invited. But thank you for the tea. You know, now that I think about it, I should have just had the boys bring the stuff here, instead of scattering it everywhere. Alex, do you think Gloria is enjoying life in the circus? Yeah, she's really getting good on that tightrope. Hindsight's always 2020. Just bring me the supplies as usual, people. This is the last one, folks. The boys are all set up. Decorate that stun area like our ticket sales depend on it. Marty Melman, go to the designated locations and wow those potential customers. Get as many as possible to follow you. You want to get shot out of that cannon, Marty? It looks dangerous. Dave is my middle name, Melman. And once you fly, you never ask why. in the circus life, but Alex still wants to go back to the zoo. No, maybe some last second realization will change his mind about the whole thing.
Way to hustle! Let's make this one the best one yet. Make those people cheer. And make them want to buy tickets. I could use your help, Gloria. Uh-huh. We have to work together on this! Kaboom! You know, these publicity stunts just might work. I hope so. If this circus fails, we can kiss New York goodbye. Back at the zoo, we didn't need all these publicity stunts. That's because the zoo was popular. Until we took over, this circus stunk like yesterday's hay. Can you help a lady out? Oh! Nothing puts butts in seats like a good publicity stunt. And that was top notch. London is buzzing about the show. We can kick off the circus whenever you guys are ready. Let's take a quick look back, shall we? First, our friends visited the untamed shores of Madagascar. Yeah, and all then... my parties made the freak so happy. And then they went to Africa, where they found their roots. I got to ride a pink feathered horse and make friends with the volcano gods! Oh, finally. They reinvented a rundown circus. Where King Julian fell in love with my big headed, hairy, lovely lady bear, Sonia. Hey, where are you going? But. All the while, our friends longed to return home to New York. And finally, they had made it! There was only one final performance before they could return to their lives at the zoo. Little did they know that Dubois had followed them all the way to New York. Hey, what's going on, freaks? Mango Madness! Oh, where are all these mangoes coming from? Mango Madness! Watch out for those mangoes!
snacks. Then, on with the show. and likely your eardrums. Ladies and gentlemen, Marty and Stefano. Bye bye ground, sky, here I come. Rings of fire. It's time for the daring exploits of Vitaly and Julian. <laughs> I am satisfied. By your talent. <laughs> you go, you sin feline creature, you! That was pure impossibleness! <laughs> Crazy cat! That is nearly as amazing as I am! <laughs> you are good. And better than I am Now for your enjoyment and edification, please welcome the tightrope tomfoolery of Gloria and Melman! Lucky bounce here, a lucky bounce there, and pretty soon you have a trapeze act. Presenting Alex and Gia.
various beings of New York. Let's give another round of applause to Gia and Alex, Melman and Gloria, Marty and Stefano, Vitali and King Julian. Again, New York, as you say in the vernacular, New York. Have a pleasant evening. I have you now. <laughs> and so Dubois was defeated. The circus was once again a rousing success, and our friends had found their true calling in the circus. This was their real home. No, go away, Mart. I don't want to go home. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! That tickles! <sighs> and here we are on the road again. What further adventures await us? Only time will tell. Thank you for playing. And good night. What? You are still here? Maurice, they're still here! You said they'd be gone when I woke up! Oh, why but the king do everything himself if he wants to turn right? Go away! It's over!
I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Uh, as always, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. Please, please leave a like. It will really help the channel out. And don't forget to check out other content on my channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you and have an awesome day, guys.